and welcome to the UCCS Virtual STEM Club brought to you by the UCCS Pre-Collegiate Education and Outreach Program. I'm Anna. And my name is Mike Sabel. Today we're going to be making our own stethoscope. So let's get started. For this activity, you will need a paper towel roll and two plastic cups, as well as masking tape and a pair of scissors. Your first step is going to be cutting out the bottom of your two plastic cups gently with your scissors. Next, you're going to take one of your plastic cups and gently place it on the end of your paper towel roll. Once you've done this, you can take a strand of your tape and gently tape around the cup and paper towel, connecting them together. This might need a couple tries. Repeat the step on the other side, and then you're done! Next, let's talk about how does our stethoscope work, and how does it help us hear what's going on inside our body. Let's start with sound. Sounds are vibrations that move through a medium like air in the form of waves. We hear sound when sound waves travel from their source and are channeled into our ears, and cause our eardrums to vibrate. When this happens, tiny bones in our ear also vibrate, and cause fluid in our inner ear to move like the sound wave which tells cells in our ear to tell nerves to tell our brain we heard something. Scopes help us hear things that happen inside our bodies through channeling and amplifying the sound waves into our ears. When we breathe in or our heart beats, this creates sound waves that travel through the circular end of the stethoscope that doctors and nurses place on you. The waves then travel up the stethoscope and are sent directly into the listener's ears. Our stethoscope works in a similar way. When your lungs fill with air or when your heart beats, the sound waves will travel through one end and are channeled through the tube and amplified out the other end into your ear. An interesting history fact is that actually the first stethoscopes that were developed looked a lot like the ones we made today and helped doctors listen to their patients heart. You've decorated your stethoscope. You are now ready to use it. So you can put it up to your friend's heart, put it up to your ear you'll be able to listen to their heartbeat because the sound waves will travel through one end of the cup, through this tube, and amplified into your ear. And this is similar to the stethoscopes that doctors use, except they have a lot more fancier ones that you could put up to your ear. And doctors can actually use stethoscopes to listen for um, problems with your heart, problems with your lungs. They could listen to see if you have any problems breathing or any problems um, with your heart beating and stuff like that. So the stethoscope ends up being a very useful tool in medicine. You guys today. Thank you for coming. See you again next time. <laughs>